fruit and grass. Okay, so today I'm gonna ease into this with a joke. Um, if you're an American when you go into the restroom, and an American when you come out, where are you in the restroom? Does anybody know? European. <laughs> Have you ever noticed that when someone, someone smiles or tells a joke, or even someone laughing across the room, you tend to smile, laugh, or, you know, feel at ease? You're not weird. It's common. It's very, very common. Actually, it's healthy. Um, I play basketball, very stressful sport, so when I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, I'm not particularly smiling. But then when I go in the locker room, my teammates are all in there, you know, laughing and giggling. It's like, oh, it might not be, my day might not be that bad. So, a smiling is a universal sign. No matter where you go, no matter who, where you're from, if you see someone smiling, you can tell that they're happy or that they have something to be happy about. And that's genuinely something that makes you happy that you see someone else having joy. Smiling affects your brain, it affects how you look, and it affects the people around you. So, I'm gonna talk about, <coughs> sorry, how it affects your brain. Looking at these babies. Doesn't, don't they make you want to smile? They have no cares in the world. They're just being brought into the world. No one has hurt them. Hopefully, they'll all have happy, perfect babies. So every time you smile or you laugh, your brain gets neuropeptides, which is kind of like a signal that you're happy. And so with that being said, like in your brain, it, your facial structure changes like when you get the neuropeptides. So let's say I see you laughing. And I'm like, oh, she has a funny laugh. And then I start laughing. I've just made myself literally show that I'm happier. Um, neuropeptides use molecules to communicate with other parts of the brain. So the same parts that hold the depression and the anxiety, smiling makes them better. The brain releases neurotransmitters, dopamine, serotonin, and endorphins. So if you know anything about drugs or something like that, Endorphins and serotonin are in those, but it's just you smiling. So you're literally getting high off your own happiness, if you want to be technical. Um, whenever you look good, you feel good. So if, well, I'm sorry, whenever you feel good, you look good. So you look so much better smiling than you do if you're just sitting there straight faced. And even if you don't necessarily think you have a beautiful smile, everybody else does. So smile more. Um, Research from Aberdeen, Scotland, 2011, shows that people who are smiling when doing a general search were found to be more attractive. So the things that you less like about yourself, like let's say you don't like your nose or your eyes, your smile is beautiful to everyone. There's a part of your brain that mimics other people's emotions. So you can affect someone's day just by smiling. You're walking on the sidewalk and you smile and you see someone else smile. Now their day might not be as bad as it was, or it might have just gotten better from what it was. You never know. The point of this is, of course we're all in college, we're all stressed, but smiling is really important for your health, just for a happy life. And I feel I'm a big pro-happy life, because what's the point of living if you're not going to be happy in your life? Um, so as much as you can, smile and help someone else to smile, even with corny jokes that no one wants to laugh at. Thank you. Okay, let's go. What made you pick this topic? Um, because I've been told I smile a lot and uh, my, my mom always said